Learning code as a complete beginner is one of the most stressful and anxiety provoking things a person can do. Literally over 90% of people end up quitting this journey. However, in this video, I'm going to show you how to become a self-taught programmer. And FYI, before going into how to learn code, I do have a developer roadmap for those of you who are learning web development. So check it out in the link in the bio. And if you want proof, I'm right here. I literally learned code on my own. I did a bunch of trial and error things and I was finally able to learn code, start building my own applications and selling my apps. So the things we'll cover in this video are the three main things that you need to do to become a programmer. And I'll also add in timelines of how long each thing should take just to make you feel a little better. Again, this is for the complete beginner who's never done a single thing of code. So the first thing you wanna do as a complete beginner programmer is learn the basics. You can't build a car if you don't know how each part works. And what's crazy is that here is where the 90% of people quit is difficult and on average it takes around three to four months to learn the basics and not everyone is willing to go through that by basics i mean this okay let's say your end goal is to be a software developer it is your duty to learn the basics of web development as that is what is required to be a software developer so for example in the spot you'll be learning html css and javascript and again, the main goal here should not be to know how the code works, but more so know how code works. And look, I'm going to say something a bit controversial, but your first four months, you're not going to learn shit. By that, I mean, you're not going to know how to code once you're done the four months. That will come after learning the basics and fundamentals. Instead, what your main goals should be in this section is to learn how code works. So you do the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript course. You do the backend course with the mindset that you're not going to know everything, but your goal is to know how each thing works. So when you come out of that phase, you know how JavaScript works. You know how HTML, CSS interact with JavaScript. You know how data structures work to a certain extent. And look, in this section, you should just be taking your time as much as possible. Suffer now so you don't have to suffer later. What a lot of programmers do is they rush through this part and they're unable to see the progress later because they don't understand the fundamentals of coding. Again, you need the base layer, you need the foundations of a house so you can build that beautiful mansion. So learn the basics. The next aspect, once you've done the fundamentals of coding, is building. Here is where you're gonna see the real progress. Building projects and learning by doing that will take you around one to three months to do. However, here is where you're gonna see the real freaking progress that you wanna see. You literally retain 75% of what you learn by doing projects. And because you did the foundations and you understand how code works, now you're able to learn how to actually make applications because you're actually doing them. And look, building projects from like the most basic things to the most complicated things is a whole different beast than watching videos, tutorials, and following free code camp. So what I recommend you do is once you've done the foundations and have learned from like those free code camp, YouTube videos and stuff like that, is to start building two to four projects. Pick something that you actually enjoy and you want to build. And again, it doesn't have to be difficult. Maybe build like a personal portfolio where you're describing yourself. That's what I did. Or it could be a landing page to a fake business. But your main goal here should be to learn as much as possible on how to code. In the last section, you learned about code and how it works. Here, you're actually building something of value. And if you're really struggling to build your own projects, because 1000% you will, follow tutorials. But keep one thing in mind. Don't copy the tutorial. So for example, if you're building a landing page with a tutorial, change things up within the tutorial rather than copying the entire thing, which is so counterproductive and you will learn nothing, change things up, change the font, change the color, maybe add a functionality. But again, what you want to do is build on top of what you have learned by doing these projects and these mini application things. And what you will find in this one month alone, you will see more progress than you did the first four months. And because you took the time to learn the foundations, 
everything will come together. And this was my favorite part. Like I was building applications. I was making these things that I actually wanted because I took the time and because I suffered a bit. And the final aspect of learning code as a complete beginner is to improve. You've learned the foundations. You're trying to master a language. Now it's time to look at how you are learning these things. And because you've learned the foundations, you can really just stay around the projects sections because there's not really much to do after learning the foundations. Almost every programming language is similar. I learned Python before JavaScript and I found it really easy to switch to JavaScript because I did Python. And it's not because they're the same language, they look a lot different, but they're very similar in syntax. For example, they both have for loops, they both have while loops, they both have functions. And by taking what I learned in Python and put into JavaScript, I found my life really easy. So in the improvement section, this will be a lifetime thing where you're just constantly improving. But what you wanna do here is constantly find ways to improve. This could be through learning a new language, learning a framework, or adding a study technique. It could be trying to be more disciplined, focused, or finding a different strategy to learn code. But essentially what you wanna do here is find the different ways to do projects, find different ways to get things done, just in a way where you're more productive. And that's it. Learn the fundamentals, build projects, and find ways to improve at code. It's a simple yet long process that not many of you watching will do because statistically speaking, 90% of you will not do this because you're not willing to do it. Again, that's just the nature of it. But to the 10% who will be doing this, you will be gifted with coding as a skill and as a gift you can offer to the world. And if you're able to stick with this, learn the fundamentals, suffer, build projects and suffer again and find ways to improve, you will be successful at learning code. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video.